got a nice patch cleared out here of weeds if i need botanicals you know i know where to go all right leaves have been removed use a rake kind of level it out smooth it out a bit that way it'll be somewhat level for the tanks i can always manipulate it and the ground soft being sand it'll kind of probably form itself but i think we're about ready for tanks and by grading it i'm just going through and just smoothing it out raking it down this way i rake it down that way and then i go back and do it all over again make sure as i'm looking as like the dips and divots are kind of getting filled in by the excesses to where you just smooth it out now if this was more clay based though and see how it's kind of going to a lower elevation being sand it'll drain out pretty well but you can always get some rock to put on top of it too if you want to make it look nice but being aquariums the bottom's getting wet it's not going to matter well good thing the uh tank shouldn't mind getting wet hope fill them up a little bit also whenever i settle these tanks on there i kind of want to do it little by little and i don't want to put them too close together because if they pinch on each other and level out then they can push on each other's glass which will cause them to bust and stuff so i gotta watch that when placing them the reason i picked that spot was it is the shadiest part back here to where it doesn't get a whole lot of direct sun which will cause me a lot of issues with algae all right i got that emptied tanks are out back here getting them filled up now this is pretty wild. So all that guppy grass that was in this 75 with the wood trim that the Millennium Orange Albinos is in, or were in. And it has completely flattened itself. And you see where it's just spaghettied all over the place. So that is gonna root down like that and then just bush up like crazy. It's gonna be mad. Lots of nice plants in here. And I can't really see it with all the sun reflection get these filled up which gives us five of them out here and big shout out to my neighbor connor for helping me move these and lady lrb and connor he actually started a fish room himself starting with 12 tanks never kept a tank before but he went full gun i don't know how many people start with 12 tanks but which i'll try to get you guys a video of his fish room and what he's doing i'm trying to talk him into starting a channel i think you guys would relate to him a lot and like first starting to keep fish and kind of what he's doing as well i think that would interest some of you guys since some of this is mysterious to you guys on how i do it and i think it would be great for him then the guy is awesome you guys would love him as usual getting some fish moved around these are gold dust Platties, mollies, whatever you want to call them. Go ahead and put them out here. Let's put them in here. So those are the first fish in the outdoor. Oh my God, that. All right, so I may have to get some leaves down here because that sand just gets kicked up from the rain and or some gravel down to help keep that from being. And you saw the gold dust mollies. Get them in here, get them breeding. I may just go ahead and throw a bunch of leaves and stuff in here. I don't know. Maybe they'll just fall. They'll probably fall in naturally and just deal with it. It's already pretty seasoned for them to find bugs and stuff to eat on. I think they'll get plenty to eat. Good thing about these outdoor tanks is they're pretty easy cleanup. This way I won't have to, I'll definitely get some rocks so this doesn't continue. Probably lay a liner down too. I don't know, liner's not needed so much out here. I am super excited about these. I know I got lots of fish tanks, but I love keeping stuff outdoors. Old dust mollies are liking it too. It's been done, check out all this free space. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna last like this long. Time to get this stuff off the wall and just clean things up. I think I'm gonna go, I was gonna put the, the white backing that I have in here on this kind of section. It's like PVC sheet. But I do kind of like the wood background and the metal background of it. Now the white with the fry would definitely make it a lot easier to see. 
the fish in it, but I don't think it would make that much of a difference. Plus setting all that wall out like that, that's a lot of work. I would have to cut, trim, level it off, set that all up, put back paneling on it. It's just, it would be a lot of work. I wanna get the tanks up. I don't wanna do a lot of work. <laughs> Cause adding 80 aquariums is enough work. I think this will look just as good. That and I was gonna wrap that back wall over, but I might actually take part of that off to be able to go into a certain area that I plan on building back off the other end of this. But anyways, finally somewhere to throw all these fry 20 long aquariums, 80 of them. And those were supposed to be saddle racks and I don't know, what is that, a big towel rack? But I think these would work great as hose racks, so I don't know if I needed hoses. Cause I'll probably want to do, I don't know, just still have something like that of the sort, even if I got a water change system. That way I can like clean up the bottom if I wanted to or needed to. Juicy. All right, finally got some rock. Gonna address this, get this smoothed out and make it a little nicer. That way the rain's not splattering all over the tank. Because after it rains, I can't see these. I got to wash them off. I'd just rather not have to deal with that. And it'd keep the fire ants off my ankles. Because stand in one spot long enough on the sand where I just dug all this up from where they were. They'll chew you up. And you don't want them chewing you up. I am dripped in sweat, but I got this edged. I'm gonna put a liner down. Luckily for me, I kept a lot of that liner, pond liner from the old house doing all that pond build in the backyard. If you guys don't know about that, check out my old videos. LRB outdoor backyard pond build. I went bananas, built like five ponds. And I do got one that's great that I do got one that's ready for a big pond build as well right there that's not scrap. So one day we'll get there. But this will be better. This will be better than any other fabric or plastic I can use. It'll last a lot longer. This one looks like it could make a good channel pond. I think I'm gonna keep that one. And always be careful whenever working around power lines because you, know, you don't want to hit that. All right, and got it framed out here. That way it'll help keep the sides where they're at. Had some scraps, so might as well. Love having outdoor tanks. This excites me. No, it's hard to see. Liner's down and blends in because it's so dirty, but there ain't no weeds getting through that. There are other cheaper alternatives because this stuff isn't the cheapest, but this will last at least 30 years. Now time to rock and roll. And we got the van back. Woo -woo. And Wesley picked out the egg rock for me. He's my boy. For the frame, I just used some screws too in case you guys, I don't know, some people aren't as constructive, illiterate, but get this rock in. And I'll probably need more too, cause I made it a little bigger. I wasn't planning on doing that square over there, but I think that accent will be nice. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right the first time. Or at least to what I want it to be. It may not be perfect, but, and not the most expensive one. I would say cost me 60 bucks for the rock. The rest of the stuff, all scrap. But if you didn't, minus the tank, I would say $300, add the tanks. 150, I would say maybe another 300, 600 bucks. Well, I really underestimated that. <laughs> that was 12 bags. So I should have just got a truck full, which I think a truck is like three, $400. I don't quite have the money for that yet, but I did at least get it around the tanks here. So the tanks won't get all splattered by the sand and look all crappy. I got a rental. 
this down maybe. I did go ahead and poke some holes in the low spots here. That way it doesn't puddle up. There's enough seams and cracks and this liner is not perfect. So it's really good for this. So that'll puncture and keep water from sitting up. Yeah, I need more rock. But still, I'm digging it. I can't wait to see it all the way done. And I need to get more fish in here. I'm trying to get fish that aren't so bright. That way it doesn't draw a whole lot of attention to birds and whatnot to it since I don't have any tops on them. So fish that can kind of camouflage in, which will make it hard for you guys to see, but it's really for their safety. I did accidentally bop off a little wax myrtle there and a little oak sapling. And I put them in these little holes. Got these little holes on the trim there. Put them in there, see if they'll root. That'd be kind of cool if they do. And here was my plans for the whole project. Rock delivery successful, 500 bucks later. Two yards, get it. When I was doing my pond builds, the rock it's probably like half that. A big reason for that is freight is just ridiculous right now. Got lucky. The delivery came in early. And for you members, this is that Saturday that you guys are going to be watching this. It is done. Cooked in the sun again. Let's clean it up a little bit. We're all cleaned up now. And there is fish out here already. Little tiny young rice fish. These are supposed to be the red bloodline yamas. That is super rare. Paid like a hundred bucks for six tiniest fry. I got the gold dust. Got the gold dust mollies out here. And then this one, I've got some rare Mexican live bears. Which I don't know if we're gonna be able to see them because they're hidden down in all that mess. And then here I put black Moscow guppies, which are all still pretty young, you can see there. And then here are some young Orochi black rice fish as well as some pandagaras so everything's got fish in it already need more tanks you know but i wanted to go ahead and use darker fish in here that way i don't get a whole lot of attraction and predation but you know i have a feeling this is just the start of it we'll probably work around it who knows what this will become in the future and winter should get interesting 86 degrees yeah, I'm eating that guppy grass. Something that was in it. There you can see hair algae dying. A lot of the algae in these tanks have been dying off ever since I put them in here. Granted, they had huge water changes. Hopefully that all dies out. That all come up from the bottom, which I would pull a lot of this out, but it's actually intertwined with a bunch of plant material that I want to leave in here. And this is just the beginning of the garden space. Who knows where I'll take it from here. I was thinking about using that liner, maybe put it over here, small little stream. I got to go out more this way because too much tree roots over there and maybe work down. And then winter should be interesting. We do get a few cold days here in Florida. So stay tuned. Want to see what ends up with that? I don't Once know. Once again, thank you all so much for the awesome support. You guys really do help this channel keep on keeping on. And I thank you very much. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Take care.